Hello everybody, welcome back to Game of Thrones a Telltale series. My name is Ben Pope. We're continuing from where we left off. And we did um, Yeah, we're I think all we have to do is the, the lifting uh, challenge. Because we did the archery and you the sword fighting. Recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See so if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. The winch? What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Alright, we're gonna have to press some buttons. Holding the button and going <coughs> up. <coughs> <sighs> Want some help? <laughs> oh, he's a jerk. He's a big jerk if I've ever seen one. Which way am I going? That's the problem, really. I don't know where I'm going. I'm bumping into this guy. Oh, he out of the way. That's good. Oh, I'm pressing Q. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Mr. Chance, now. Does he know that somebody stole his? Uh, I'm thinking, steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. Yep. Oh, you're a prick. You know that. Yeah, I do. Gonna end up having to save his butt sometime, I can see. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my. Where is it? Oh, here the it fuck's is. my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Maybe someone stole it. Who the fuck would have. It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Uh... Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh! I won't say it again. That wasn't very nice. And how about this? Uh, oh! Oh, there wasn't a button hey, press there. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get here they go again. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it was too slow. Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Ah, oh, you Frostfinger. Bastards. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. Yep, uh, we get to go with Jon Snow on a trip. I wasn't gonna tell on him, he would have gotten his hands chopped off. This way. <laughs> it's not very nice. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. Sure you does. used to love this place. 
Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? I have a lot on my mind lately. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Oh. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. Mm. It's just wine. I'm gonna st I'm gonna stay away from this one. Suit yourself then. Less trouble the so better. So are you Well, I just I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Go on then. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. No, oh, snap. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Uh huh. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. Oh. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. Mm. My mother died not long after my birth. Oh. Well then. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. Just, I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. Mm -hmm. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was right. hoping that maybe... You Sometime help, huh? when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. I could do that. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and... Your father? Yeah. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. I'm fine. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. <laughs> lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? Some wine, you want some? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. <laughs> Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. Uh-huh. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. Yet you're worried about an alliance with me? You need to know what risks are worth taking. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. 
He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. <clears throat> Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. Interesting. It might be the first fun I've had in months. <laughs> My lady. Oh, that's interesting. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair well. question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You can't us. do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. <clears throat> ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? <laughs> My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? Well, you had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Mm -hmm. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. Well... You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the North is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. I suppose it's something... Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. <laughs> we have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. Yep. This will either be very good for both of us... Or very bad. Or very bad for you. Oh. For your sake. I hope it's the former. Yeah. My lady. Things are shaping into shapes. Cray, 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 crazy. We're back in Yunkai. 
What are they gonna do? Okay, so I guess we're sneaking. Trying to avoid the dudes. That's gonna be a task. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You are coming you sure? with us then? If you're uh -huh. to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Beska can lead them. What? She's stronger than most knights in Westeros. This is your fight, Asher. Your family. <laughs> None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. Oh? They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. <laughs> Everybody's like... I worried him, huh? Everybody's closing well, their windows and stuff. This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north. So we make for Marine. Wait. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Non kai hino josi botagon kostoti daor. They speak gibberish. And it was not gibberish. Keep walking, bro. Let's go. You're quick, I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsay Snow and cave his bloody head in. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. All right. Our Either we is. cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. I guess they could have done that differently. Not kill the soldier. Oh. The door's open. It's like we are heading at the, to that door. Hopefully it's not her door. Somebody's door. I wouldn't just go in there though. Probably a murder scene. Mm. 
Can we get away with not going in there? Hello? Darn it. A note for Mira, huh? So this must be her. Everything's room. still here. All right. Well, what happened? Look at the desk. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? Uh huh. What else did it do? I left your note. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Aid me with the imp. I'm not sure I need aid. Oh. There. That should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is... If the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt <laughs> most ladies her age. Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. <sighs> and I'm yawning. And then that's not because the show is boring. <laughs> Roderick? Oh. Hello. You look. Welcome to Ironrath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Well, let's please sit down and have a have a drink. So, here we are. You look as Beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. Mm hmm. But now your house prepares for a funeral, and you. Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? Just trying to be romantic and here. please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said 
some terrible things. The yeah. White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Well... Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. Mm. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly... I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> Should've gone with their one year war. I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Elena, we need your army. Without you, our family may not survive. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family too, Roderick. Ah, oh, darn it. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. Mm. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. Brian belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. What a jerk. But now I hear you're threatening them. It makes me true. start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? So, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. Oh, kiss your stupid ring. I think I'm gonna need my buttons to do things. Sorry. Very good. Now then. Since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that! Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. Well. 
And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Mm-hmm. Ooh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? No, it's not. Not at all. I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. <sighs> Maybe I'd have done the same. My lord, are you well? Mm. This fight isn't over, not even close. He's gonna get well and stab some dudes. That's what he's gonna do. Right, we're back at the wall. I'm gonna go upstairs. What's Jon Snow? You can't be fighting with the other recruits. Yeah, you need those that. men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. <laughs> you might be right. He said worse about me. He said... You fought for the North with the Foresters. Uh -huh. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men. And not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? The men were too drunk to draw their swords. The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you, but men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the night's watch. Darn. There we are. Top the wall. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Whoa. 
he saw something. Let's go look at it. There's a north. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Well, why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Aye. Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. <laughs> Freezing your fingers off. There's a nice introduction there. Let's see what happens next. Looks like we're back in King's Landing. Landing. Mira is in the gardens, trying to avoid the guards. I'm here, but where are you? Okay, so I'm controlling Mira and I will have to continue this in the next part because I'm out of time. Thank you all for tuning in and watching this. And please do hit the like button and comment if you enjoyed uh, this episode. Well, you can comment anyway. And uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed and you like the content I have on my channel, please do subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.